Hi there and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we are asking the question, what does he or she think of me? What do they think of me? Okay, so this is a question that I've been asked uh, over the months that I've been here, just like uh, under two months, uh, that I've been posting videos regularly. Um, I've been asked this question by several people. Please do a pick a card reading. I'm just going to do a quick reading today and we're going to uh, look at what does he or she think about me and this is not just with love this is, could be anyone this could be your boss this could be a neighbor this could be your mother uh, what do they think of me all right so I'm just gonna do this and there's just three options here as I mentioned there's one two and three um, yeah go ahead and uh, to the timestamp down in the description box and you can go directly to your video so for those of you who've chosen this uh, deck here as we know, we are asking the question, what do they think about us? What do they think about us? So here I see that uh, they see you as an inspiration. Okay, they see you as the key to uh, a sense of groundedness. They see you as a key to stability. They see you as a key to uh, that which is certain. Uh, they see you as somebody who's charming, but also somebody who has the uh, finesse and um, kind of control or the, um, yeah, you have a good sense of yourself. And it's like you know how to manage yourself or how to handle yourself within a, a situation. And so they see you as somebody who is not too forthright, not too aggressive, not too, uh, but, but has uh, strong opinions, but has, uh, takes a lot of care in the way in which they will disseminate these opinions or the way in which they express their feelings about uh, things. It's as if they, they see you as somebody who has sort of a delicate nature or well, you have, uh, they have a fondness for you and they see you as somebody who's, uh, somebody who's fond in their eyes. Um, they see you as somebody who like has the key to, to what you, you need to do. You, you have the, you know what you need to do for yourself. You know how to take care of yourself. And I feel also that, um, you, you're clear about what it is that you want. Like they see you as somebody who, it takes time to understand what they want and when they've decided what they want they they go ahead and uh, find the key and, and make sure that they can actually access what they need and uh and they are they see you as somebody who's shining and bright doing so with uh with a certain degree of uh elegance this person sees you in a good light and they actually uh, find you quite charming and uh, quite an inspiration and somebody who you know, they see as having a, a, a degree of stability within yourself. That is the, um, the reading for those of you who've chosen this one here. So we're moving on to the deck number two here. How do they see me? How do they see me? Okay, this person sees you as a very lucky person okay they feel that you are really lucky uh, but they feel that you are you can be quite indecisive at times you can be quite indecisive at times but yet when you act you act with full commitment and the full drive but it takes you long before you can actually come to that point where you make a decision and you go ahead with something but when you do you go ahead with such a drive that it's actually um something that's almost uh, scary like how you go ahead with the lightning speed with which you respond to a situation and they feel that you're very lucky because the way they see it is that you always land on your feet um this is something where this person the way they see you yeah you you are uncertain you are taking a long time to come to the decision you need to make many decisions in your life but you're not making the decisions and then suddenly when you do and uh, you commit to a particular um area that you actually are doing so with a real force and you are very uh, lucky with the outcomes of it. So um, they see you as somebody who is um, sort of like their lucky charm as well. Um, and they see that, you know, this is somebody 
with whom they see you as somebody that they could have a, you know, there's a long road ahead of you. There's a long path ahead of you. This is not just somebody, you are not just somebody that's coming to their life for a short term. You're somebody that they will think about down the line as well. So maybe you've been in touch with each other just for a short time, uh, but they will, you will not leave their mind easily. And um, yeah, that is um, your message for those of you who have chosen uh, this deck here. So this is the, th the third deck and we are asking, how do they see you? Okay, so this person sees you as being very sociable, as being very easy to go out with, to be with, to have fun with. They see you as somebody who's wealthy or has a lot, a lot of access to money or has the potential to make a lot of money. And they just absolutely love your easiness and your way of being and your sociability and the, that they can take you anywhere or that they can be anywhere with you. They may also see you as their source of income for some of you. But I don't think that applies to all of you. And what I see is that you are somebody who charges forth. You kind of make decisions and you go ahead with it. You don't, uh, you, you are also impulsive. You could be impulsive. You could be somebody who does things. Uh, you don't just talk about it. You do things. And that your focus is material things for money. Um, and that you, you make a success of it. Your focus is actually um, going ahead and getting something done. So it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you just want to make money. Uh, that is like a very uh, crude way of saying that uh, they see you as a driven person who has goals and ambitions. Okay. And uh, the other thing uh, is that they see you as somebody who's uh, very busy, who's, who's, yeah, who's busy with, with things. And they see you, they also see you as being a bit emotional at times, but... Um, they, or they think that you have the potential to be emotional. Sorry, they don't see you as being emotional. They see that you as being having the potential to be very emotional. But in fact, you are a very light, bubbly, uh, easy person to be with. So this is how they see you. Okay. And uh, so I thank you once again for coming by today for this uh, quick a quickie uh, reading. And I uh, hope you're all doing well. And blessings abound. Fab Kismet Rising.